Okay, this is uh, how to uh, use PhotoStory, um, which if we read what it says here on the screen, PhotoStory helps you to create exciting video stories by adding plan uh, panning and zoom in effects to your pictures. Uh, you can use PhotoStory to record a narration, add titles, background music to the story and so on. It's, it's a bit like um, another sort of application similar to Movie Maker and things like that, but some people prefer using this. Uh, to get it, it is in fact free. And if you go to uh, any sort of, um, use any sort of search engine, I'm going to use Google, but it's being very slow, and type in photo story, uh, the news version at the moment is 3, so photo story 3, um, you can click on it, and basically download it for free. So just follow the online instructions. and basically install it. I've already got it installed so I'm not going to do that. So okay, to use Photo Story then, um, when you're starting a new story, you click on Begin Story, press Next, and you just follow the on-screen instructions. So first of all you need to import some pictures. Uh, so I'm going to click on Import Pictures, I'm going to find the photos I want, which I'm going to use these from a folder called Saltash Pictures about the school, so I'm going to have that one. So I'm just control, I'm holding down control and clicking which ones I want. Put that one. And that one. Uh, and maybe that one and that one. I'm just doing this at randomly, okay. So then press OK. And it then starts to import those pictures. So I've imported six pictures and then I'm going to do some things with them. So uh, one of the things you've got an option to do then is you can straight away you can see all of these things have black borders on them. So that picture there has got a black border on the top and back. So I might want to get rid of that. So I click on this option, remove black borders. And then it starts to basically remove them for all the photos you've done. And you can move this around and say, OK, I just want that bit of the photo. In fact, that'll get rid of the black border, but I'll also, I'm going to zoom in, I just want I'm going to crop out all of that bit there and just have the uh, just focus on that bit of the school there and just crop the bit I want and I'll just have that there just to demonstrate how you can do it and then press yes you want it in the box and then I'll just go yes to that one. If you want to save time, you can just press yes to all, but then you don't have the, you know, you might not have the photo exactly where you want it. But I'm just going to go yes to all now uh, to save time. Or no, sorry, it hasn't given me that option, so I'll just press yes. And so when it comes up again, I'll pray yes to it all and see what I get. Sometimes this can take a bit of time. It depends on how many photos you have on there. If you have like 30 or 40 photos, it obviously takes a lot more time. And so it's done that for me. Okay. So then I might want to do things like uh, on this first photo, I might want to edit it and you know continue to crop, maybe move it around and things like that. But I don't. I'm going to keep it as it is. Um, you can then correct the red eye. If you've got a photo of somebody uh, up close, you can see their eyes and their colours red. <laughs> Uh, you can also change the colour levels and lots of different things like that. Uh, for now, I'm going to I'm happy with everything, and I'm going to move on. So press next. Then you can uh, add titles to you could add title and text to every page if you want it. But I might just put a bit on the beginning here, and I'm going to call it Saltash or I don't know, Welcome to Saltash.net Community School. Okay. Uh, I'm going to change the colour of the text so it can be seen a bit more clear. I'm going to make it white. Uh, I'm also going to make it in bold. I'm going to change the font size. I'm going to make it to 28. So press OK. Uh, I can't read that very well, so um, I probably will move it down. And I think I'll change the size to make it a lot smaller. So I'll highlight that and go to. Uh, 18, see what that looks like, okay that's better, I can see it a bit better, still can't see it very well so I'll just move it down a bit further again, 
OK, and then, yeah, happy with that. So, then got an option to add an effect to the photo. So, there's not a great deal of different effects, but you could, like, we could black and white that, say, to make it look a little bit more classy. Look at that. Cool. All right, so, and then you can do that to, you know, change effects to each picture, or you can add text to each picture, and so on, whatever you need. Uh, another option here is to say this photo here of one of the uh, food tech rooms. I, like, I want that as my second photo, so I click on it and I use this arrow here and I move it back and put it second in the photos there. I might want to move this one here to the very end to the science lab, so I move that, click on it, and then press right, move forward, and just click on that, and then I'm happy with that, so I press next. Uh, you can then preview and see how your slideshow is going at the moment. Uh, you have an option then to customize the motion. So you basically pick some different transitions. Just like in Movie Maker, you can pick like you know you want it to do, you know, come in diagonal from the left and so on. Uh, basically, you can change that for each one. Um, I'm going to go back to the motion and duration. Okay. Here, number of seconds to display the picture, five seconds, good. I can preview it and so on. Um, but I'm happy with it is Yes, I want to save the pictures. Okay. So that one starts like that. Um, ah, that's interesting. The printer just started behind me and ruining my recording. Don't worry, let's carry on. Anyway, so I've just put like random transition on at the moment, so I'm going to press next. And then you can select music and you can add music in. And, uh, bring in music um, so I can select it from you know, one of my songs. So I might put in a David Bowie song, Life on Mars. I can try and insert that and bring it in. So that's on there now. So I can preview that and see what it sounds like and looks like. Okay, so I previewed it, I'm happy with that. So I'm actually, think, I'm pretty much finished now, so I'll go next. And then I can then save my photo story um, as a project file, or I can save it and it converts it to a movie file. By just following on the instructions, like next, and then it starts preparing my video, mixing my audio, and basically saving it as a movie file. Done. That is how to use it.